Hi guys, this is Yarrow here, coming to you live from hopefully what you can see behind me right now, uh, Rod Laver Arena, the tennis center here in Melbourne. Although it's uh, middle of July, so we're not <laughs> exactly playing tennis right now. It's over in North America. On topic, so what I'd like to talk to you today about is a really critical uh, question for any of you who are currently working a full-time job or looking after kids or you know basically have a very busy life and you only have a small slot maybe two hours in the morning and two hours at night or maybe even just an hour here and there to actually get work done it's really important if you're that kind of person that you master things like the theory of constraints the 80 20 rule the sprint technique and these are all uh, productivity techniques that I apply to what I do I can't go into all of them in this video. If you are interested in learning those, you can uh, go to my blog and Google for them. And also I have a, a, an e-guide about this subject, a mindset and productivity e-guide specifically for bloggers. So if you go to ejinsider.com, you can find that. The crust, crust of the crux, crux, crux of the issue though, is making sure you're picking the right task to do each day for the point you are at in your business so that when you do put in the one or two hours, you're actually doing the exact thing you need to do to move your business forward for the situation you are in right now. That last point is really important because you are not like anyone else out there on the internet, which means just because one person you follow right now is doing something specific doesn't mean that that's the right thing for you to be doing. Just like right now, you shouldn't necessarily be copying exactly what I'm doing. You certainly can listen to my advice, but you need to pick the right task for your situation. Now. There's one thing I want to really highlight to you that I think is really important that most people don't really think about and consider when it comes to getting things done. Now, everyone talks about outsourcing as a way to make sure that you're not focusing on the tasks that you don't have to do, that you shouldn't be doing. Now, that's, that's a brilliant idea. I, I certainly have nothing against outsourcing. I do some of it myself. But personally, I think it's actually even better if you can set up systems. Now, most people, when you hear the word systems, they think about outsourcing, hiring people to follow a system that you create, and those people do it for you. I think a system should be really simple and very much be based on technology. So what I want you to do is when you're creating your business and you're picking and choosing the tasks for you to work on in your, your small slots of time you have for your business, I want you to think about how you can not just create systems to do it, but how can you get technology to do it automatically for you so that it continues to to deliver a result, but on an automated basis without a human being. That's a really key point. So obviously I'm, I'm a fan of doing things like creating blog content because that content will continue to deliver traffic, build relationships, cement your brand, your expertise, your credibility. Once it's created, it keeps doing this over and over again. So that's one form of a system. Another one is email. Obviously using email autoresponders to have a sequence of messages, what I call a blog sales funnel, go out, is a way to automate your distribution of other forms of content through email and also automate your selling process. Now this is really key because you can be making money once you've set up something once without needing to outsource to other people. It's simply a decision to do the right thing at the right time for your business that is based on technology, getting technology to do things for you. Okay, that's a mouthful for me. That's really all the message I want to say to you guys today. So if you are thinking about only having a small amount of time to get work done in your busy day, make sure you pick the right tasks for you in your unique situation. Look at systematizing and outsourcing, but most importantly, look for ways where technology can help you where you only have to set something up once and it continues to deliver value ongoing. That really is the key to get an automated business is to combine a lot of technology tools to work together so that you really, once created, have an automated money-making machine. Obviously, it's not as cheesy and cliche as that sounds. There's always going to be work to be done, but you certainly should be thinking about how you can set up email autoresponders, blog posts, uh, social media automation, all these sorts of things so that you get lots of value from one burst of effort. That is really key. All right, that's it for me from Rod Laver Arena here. My name is Yaro. You can find more videos like this if you Google my name, Y-A-R-O, and you'll find my blog, my YouTube channel, my podcast, everything there. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.